my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com and today we're going to pick up where we left off a few days ago or a day ago on our WordPress theme. This is the third part and today we're going to be structuring the header of our theme. That's going to be everything in the header.php file that we are bringing in right here using the function get header and that will just bring in everything from the header.php file. Now earlier on uh, we created the let's go into it into the www folder content themes and under game square we created the header.php file. I'm going to open that up in notepad plus plus and we're going to start structuring it and this blank space right here that's where our uh, WordPress loop will be eventually but not yet. We're going to start with the basic HTML just like any other website that we work on. So the first thing we have to do is declare the doc type. And our doc type is going to be the HTML5 doc type. And that's all it is. If you uh, work with older versions of HTML, you're going to have a giant, giant doc type that's going to have a bunch of nonsense in there. We don't need any of that nonsense. We're going with clean. Uh, HTML5 and that's what you get right there. Next thing we have HTML tag and we're going to close the HTML tag. Now maybe all of our HTML will go inside of these tags. I am not, I'm not really going to explain HTML and stuff in this tutorial series but sometimes you may catch me explaining stupid little things and I'm sorry uh, sometimes I can't help myself. Next thing we're going to do is have head so will contain all of our head stuff. And inside the head, the first thing I usually define is the title of the website. So close that. So normally you'd say like awful media. Well, you wouldn't say that, but normally that's what you would put. Just put the title of the website and then whatever page you're on uh, page. And that's how you do that or reverse it, whatever it may be. But since we're using a dynamic website, we're going to build our website and we're going to draw all the information from a database. You can't just do that because there's no telling what this page will actually be. So what we have to do is tell WordPress, hey, I'm looking for the title of this page. What is it? So how do we do that? Well, first we open up a PHP tag. I'm going to tab over and the first thing we're going to do is say WordPress title. Now that's going to say, okay, I want the title for this page, and that's just a simple function. But we're going to put a couple different arguments inside of these uh, of the function parentheses here. And I'm going to put uh, two apostrophes here, and I'm going to put this uh, little line, the key right above your enter key, return key. I feel completely stupid now. That. We're going to put that. The reason we're putting that is it's asking for a separator. What do you want to separate the title and uh, like the title of your page and the name of your website? We're going to use that little line. You could put a dash or whatever, but I'm using the line. Again, if you know what it's called, let me know. That'd be cool. Then I'm going to put a comma, and it's going to say, do you want it to echo this title? And I'm going to say, yeah, echo the title for me. I want this the title of the website to display next to the title of the page. And then I'm going to decide where I want the title to display. To the right of the separator, not on the left of the separator. And that's all we have to put in for that function. The next function we're going to do is blog info. And you will see this quite a bit throughout our WordPress endeavors. We're going to be using it quite a bit for different things. But in this case, we're just going to be using it for name the name of our blog. So right here we're getting the title of the page and right here we're grabbing the, the name of the blog or in our case just a website. It's not going to be a blog. And this is going to be on the left side of the separator. So that's all there is to it to the title of the website. It's a little bit more complex than just typing in the title of the website with the page title but it's all dynamic so we don't have to change anything ever. And the next thing I usually bring in is the style sheets and again everything's dynamic so we don't really just say link to the style sheet. But I'm going to start a link tag here 
and I'm going to define the relationship. The relationship is it is the style sheet. The type is text contains CSS, and the uh, link to the style sheet. This is a little bit different than normal. Let's start another PHP tag. And we're going to use blog info again here. Inside this, though, this time we're going to define a different parameter. It's going to be template URL. Now that's going to find out where the template is located in WordPress. Now, so that we're going to say slash and then style.css. So that will take us directly to the style.css. Uh, no matter where it is, as long as it is right inside the directory of our theme. And in our case, it's right there. That was easy, right? So whatever style sheet we put in there, we will uh, link to it just like that. And don't be stupid like me and keep that in the title. Uh, it's just a silly mistake I just did there. And below that, we're going to start a, another PHP tag. Just want to point something out really quick. It is 8.30 in the morning and I have not slept yet. I am on my fourth cup of coffee. I'm a little jittery, so <laughs> my typing is kind of not working. And I am surprised I am actually f uh, forming sentences at all. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the terribleness. Okay. Inside of these PHP tags, we're going to use a hook that's going to grab some head information. What does that mean? Well, what that's, what that's going to do is it's going to first check and see if our theme supports this hook. If it does, it's going to bring in some default information from a file that is in the WordPress core files. And then it's going to bring in information that we can define later on and that plugins and things like that will uh, use to put some information in, put some code in that it can bring in and use. So if you're, if you plan on using plugins, uh, be sure to activate this within your theme or the plugins won't have any place to store its information. Well, they do, but this is where they usually do. So you'll break all kinds of plugins and you don't want to break the plugins you're trying to use. So that's what we do. We define or we uh, start a hook for WordPress head just like that and it doesn't take any arguments so don't have to worry about anything it's all you have to do is that right there